If you want to make an elevator, cannon, or blow up your friend's house, it's all possible with redstone. It's been such a helpful material in Minecraft, it's hard to imagine a world without it. Well, at least in the Minecraft world. But what is redstone? Well, if you want to make an elevator, cannon, yeah, but like, what is redstone? This can only lead up to a bigger question, which is, so, does it exist in real life? Well, no. Although most resources in Minecraft are real, redstone is one that technically isn't. There's no material out there that's powered by nothing. The idea of a redstone torch, unless the energy is coming from the rock itself, would only be temporary. In the past, people theorized that maybe redstone is based off of copper, as during this time, that was the only material that wasn't in the game compared to other real-life materials. The idea that copper isn't a part of it might be a clue, and it's fair to assess that copper is redstone. It's very thermal, and of course conducts electricity. Now in more recent times, copper was added into the game, which obviously tells us that the skepticism has been debunked. So why didn't Mojang do this though? The truth probably comes more from just a decision. Notch probably believed that copper wiring being used for electronics might be a little too complicated for Minecraft's more simplistic layout. You'd need to turn this copper into wiring, and then hook this wiring onto a device, and then of course you'd need a power source. And although Minecraft does have a lot of strategy in it, there's some things that just have to be more lenient. So because Minecraft already has a very unrealistic fictional setting, it wouldn't really hurt to add in a fictional material. The way that redstone functions isn't the same how copper does, obviously. You can't just run a wire from a switch to a light and expect it to function like magic. You still need a power source. Although I will say there are redstone repeaters in real life, kind of, called diodes. As defined by Google, this contraption conducts a current primarily in one direction. This is obviously just like a repeater's function. Also, while doing some research, I discovered a redditor named MediaStream that actually created his own redstone circuit. He was able to use a redstone torch or redstone block to power this repeater and lamp. Now obviously, of course, in real life you still need something physically touching the two in order to transfer power. It can't just be standing next to the other object, and of course eventually whatever battery or technique that's being used for this project is eventually going to run out of power. So at the end of the day, that's what redstone is. You could see it as an extension cord, or a plug. Well, not that plug. A thing that's really important to what Minecraft is, making some really cool inventions. And yeah, that's all I have to say.